All right, so this is part of my Onmas collection. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. The X-Men and Spider-Man are upstairs. I have X-Men Volume 1 from the original series and Volumes 1 to 4 from the Uncanny. That's as far as I've gotten so far with that. And of course, Age of Apocalypse, because again, not a monster. Age of Apocalypse is a, is a damn, damn good story and probably one of the best like crossover things that X-Men has done. You know, this is the other stuff, the stuff that I don't have upstairs, and I'm kind of lacking in Spider-Man, but severely lacking in Spider-Man when it comes to the uh, the Omnibus stuff. I've got like two and five, and uh, I got uh, Roger Stern's Spider-Man, thank you, Mom, and I have gotten something else, which I, why can't I remember that right now? Oh, I got another one. Anyway, so these are big harder to find type of thingy. So basically, if you're collecting this type of stuff, then the one thing you gotta know is that you've got a window with this, uh, especially Marvel. See the DC? There's not a lot of DC. There's a reason, because like DC, a lot of them kind of stay in print, stay evergreen, unless it's like a, a big, like one that they're just doing a short run on. And each time they do another run on these things, they tend to be shorter. So for instance, if, um, if you're getting like, something along the lines of a 90s era comic uh on the best then you you're getting yourself like a thor or a heroes reborn or a clone saga spider-man good fucking luck with that one by the way that's that's a hard one to get then uh you probably have a five to ten year wait sometimes 15 in between if you don't get it within that window and usually that window means um before it's it comes out like pre-order 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 like location 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 uh, that's, uh, that's kind of how it works. So right now, I've just started collecting these things. I'm finding my voice when it comes to on this collecting. I've been collecting, like, movies now for about 11, 12 years. Actually, probably my entire life. And the first thing I ever collected were comic books because, uh, I'm a visual person. I, I guess that's, uh, that's the way we put it. So I've been finding my voice and exactly what I want to collect and how I want to collect it. And I was lucky enough early on to find some, like, stuff. So I got a couple whales. Uh, Secret Wars 2. You see that baby? That thing's been out of print for quite a while. And I'm one of those weirdos that actually like Secret Wars 2. I thought it was really cool. And a nice snapshot of the comics and the way they were being done at that time. Anything Peter David. I am all there for Peter David, man. Incredible Hulk, Peter David, all the friggin' way. Uh, X Factor, Peter David. Uh, Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. Not a huge fan of Jeff Johns, do, though I, as a person, but I do like the stories that are uh, that are written there. So, uh, yeah. Got that. Raiding the Bold, Volume 3. Uh, Love me some Neil Adams. I uh, met Neil Adams, and I miss jo met his son Josh Adams, too. Really nice people, by the way. Uh, Planetary, because that's a one and done, and it's super cool. Uh, Man Thing, because I like myself some horror stuff. You can see the Morbius right next to it. So that's basically like Adventures in the Fear, and I just had to get the uh, Marvel Suspense ones, like kind of fill that in, because that's, that's where the backstories in Adventures in the Fear are. I got myself some Defenders because I do love Doctor Strange, although I have no Doctor Strange. I, I do want the Sorcerer Supreme. I'm a 90s, I'm not a 90s kid. Like I was, I was, I was 20 when the 90s hit, but it was like the time around when I kind of, kind of fell back in love with comics again. I got, I was there for the whole image revolution and the uh, proliferation of covers that were sort of, you know, chromium and steel were they steel they were steel covers right there's holographic covers and all that type of stuff anywho i need more absolute carnage types i need more current i need venom i need venom in my collection but unfortunately venom this has been three volumes and so far i have absolutely zero of them i don't even know if they're still in print i don't think they are and i want the first venom on this with the separation anxiety cover with carnage on it because because i love me that cover i actually really really do and i got myself a lethal protector t-shirt and um, I'm just a comic fan by. Anyway, I am going to be doing more videos on this here topic. So please, if you like this stuff, let me know. This video is being done in 4K. Why is it being done in 4K? Because I'm being snazzy with this. And I'm hoping more people will see it. And I, I don't want to start another channel just to do the comic stuff. But I will if I need to. And hopefully some of you will follow me there. And we'll go through omnibuses and trade paperbacks and OHCs, oversized hardcovers. Uh, talk about essentials and all the other jazzy cool stuff that's out there. Maybe one of these days I'll even I'll even explain this to you. Yeah, well, it's Batman. Yeah, nah, uh, it's Jiro Kawata's Batmanga. Anywho, 
Thanks a lot. Talk to you later.